Okay guys, uh, today we're going to start in on you guys working on these router tables. So I just want to review what we learned uh, from the safety video before, before we start in on this. So let's remember one, we never put our hands underneath the stock feeder. And if there is no stock feeder, we definitely do not put our hands over this plastic area. So if you're going to feed this one, you're going to keep your hands out this direction. <clears throat> Next. We always want to remember what direction we're going to take this. So we always go from right to left. The safety issue around that is if you go from left to right and you're not creating positive resistance against the rotation of the blade, this piece might go shooting off. All right? So we want to make sure about that. Also, as always, we're wearing our safety equipment. And one thing that happens far too frequently in here and I don't want to see any of you guys doing it, is once you're done with this tool, make sure you turn that switch off. Don't just finish your piece and be like, oh, that looks great, and head out. All right, <clears throat> so those are our safety things to remember. Now I'm gonna go ahead and operate this for you and so you can see the proper way to do it. Again, safety check. You're gonna have your glasses on and your ear protection on. Something you didn't learn yesterday is that if you're going to route all four sides of a piece, you're going to want to start on the end grain. The reason for that is, just like with the jack plane, if you start cutting against this grain, it's going to want to tear out or blow out. We've used both of those terms. If you do the end grain first, then when you go to route the other sides, the edges, it'll take care of that tear out and it'll make a nice clean uh, product for you. So make sure you start with the end grains first, which means you'll do it one direction, rotate it 180, and then do it the other direction. All right? <clears throat> make sure your material is tied against the fence. That way you'll get a nice clean cut, and you'll have positive resistance as you need to. Starting with my end grain. Tied against the fence. Safety equipment's on. Make sure to turn that machine off. And I've rounded off those four sides, just requires a little sanding. All right, a lot of the same stuff on the stock feeder, of course, all the same safety stuff, wearing your glasses, wearing your hearing protection. However, with this, you don't touch any of these dials. Your only switch is right here. Okay, that's your on-off switch. You don't need to touch these at all. Make sure you press tight against the fence. Turn the machine on. After you've turned the machine off, you can check to see if it made exactly the kind of cut you want. This one turned out really smooth. 